In this video, we're going to be talking about identifying potential projects to go in our portfolio. And so, we're going to start with creating a list of all the projects we have worked on sometimes in the past. Those could be projects you did at one of your jobs, a school project, a fun site project, or a project you did as an intern. Those don't have to be specifically your projects, as in something you started. They can also be projects you participated in. However, before going there, let us highlight some important notes and answer one important question, which is, what makes a project? The answer to this varies a lot. However, since we are talking about building portfolios here, we can define it this way. A project is any endeavor you engage in that involves the use of distinctive set of skills that matter in your focus area or field which we identified earlier. Let's take in some examples. Steve is good in graphics and he made the following artwork using Adobe Illustrator. Assuming Steve's desired focus area is in graphic design, this might be a good project to list in his portfolio as it highlights his hard skill if using a tool like Adobe Illustrator, and it also highlights his unique look towards graphical compositions. And so in this scenario, one image is a project. Here's another example. Fatima worked in a team to increase customer attention of a B2C cybersecurity service belonging to a big internet company. The team as a whole was able to increase their attention by 20%, which was a big success. Now the question is, should Fatima consider this project for her portfolio? Well, that would depend on Fatima's desired focus area as well as her role in the project. Now it appeared that Fatima worked in that project as a technical specialist writing codes. However, her desired focus area is a marketing as something she would like to transition into. In this case, listing that project might not be a good idea, even though it was a success in terms of marketing, but her demonstrated skills in the project were not very relevant in marketing, which is the field she's trying to move into. From this, we can conclude one major aspect to keep in mind when selecting projects, and that is relevance. Those projects and the skills demonstrated through them must be relevant to the requirement of your potential employer or client. So now, taking some time to think back on all the projects and activities you have worked in the past and list the following with each of those projects. List in the focus area and industry which the project fall under. Write a name for the project which you can refer back to and you can make up a name for it if you don't have one already. Write one sentence description of what the project was about. Write a new role and write in the dates which the project took place in. And finally, list all the hard and soft skills you have used in that project. At this point, there's no need to give this much thought. Just list as many as you can remember. To many, it can help to make a mind map that would include all the jobs and degrees you have achieved and identifying the projects related to those activities. You can list in those projects in the designated space we have for you in the worksheet. Subscribe and click the bell icon so Galen can pet the cat.